Summit League Women's Basketball here on Minko Sports Network on Thursday night. And the University of South Dakota picks up an 84-69 win over North Dakota State. An impressive offensive performance for the second straight game for South Dakota. Really is. They scored 101 at Western Illinois. They followed up here with, like you said, 86 points on their home floor and really did it in impressive fashion, Jay. They pushed the tempo of this game, got lots of points in the paint, and shot a very high percentage. Yeah, Kyle's put six players in double figures. They got 21 points off the bench, 55 off the bench now in the last two games. So everybody's contributing in one way or another. Let's take a look at the half, or the first half highlights now. And uh, Kyle, shout out to an early lead, 12-2 run to start. Yeah, they were out 16 to 4, 39 to 16 at one point. They had their foot on the gas, and they were going full throttle at the Bison. Yeah, they led by as many as 24 in the first half. Bison struggling a little bit on the offensive end, just 27% in the opening 20 minutes. Brooke Lamar, though, did her thing. Not at 21 for the field tonight, 23 points. Yeah, she kept North Dakota State in him. May need a tough shot. It was that lady right there, number four in green. Beautiful pull up on that one. Summit League's leading scorer. Jayla Jackson coming back for South Dakota. Coyotes just kept piling on the points. They led it by 18 at the half. Margaret McLeod had nine of those. And uh, they went in 44-26 at the half. And then you talked to Myron Walseth coming out of that break. And uh, she said she wanted to see better effort yeah. out of her team. That was She wasn't concerned about the tempo that the game was being played at. She just wanted her girls to work a little bit harder. Uh, and they did that in the second half. They really did. They, they picked up their intensity. It started on the defensive end, carried over to their offensive play, and that really helped propel them. Got them back in the game. They got the thing down to nine. Let's take a look at the second half highlights now. And North Dakota State uh, came out. The offense looked a little bit better. And that helped them cut the lead down uh, to nearly single digits a couple of times. And they made a couple quick runs early in the half. Through a little zone defense, but USD was able to answer with enough of those long range shots. But Caleb Beckin right there had a really nice game for NDSU. Got to the line nine times, had 13 points. 13 points, six rebounds for her, Rachel Contreras. So every time the Bison started to really close in and, and maybe think about making this a real game, the Coyotes would find one of those spurts. Uh, and that's what helped them ultimately put it away as the game wore on down the stretch. Nicole Seekamp into double figures for the 15th time in 17 games this season. The Coyotes, again, close it out 84 to 69. One of the biggest numbers that jumps off the page, plus nine on the boards for South Dakota. That's what they do. They out-rebound their opponents by about eight a game. They did it again here tonight. They had 11 offensive boards. When you shoot 49% and can still get 11-0 boards, you know you're doing a really good job on the glass. The Coyotes also continue to share the basketball well. 19 assists yep. in 34 field goals. Yeah, they did a great job there. Nicole Seacamp, 9 assists, Jay. She was one assist away from a double-double. Yeah, Seacamp now 19 assists in the last two games. She had 10 in that win over Western Illinois on Saturday. So the Coyotes win it 84-69. They go to 3-1. and one in the Summit League, and they host South Dakota State here on Saturday. Obviously, that's one in the regular season a lot of people have been waiting for. Yeah, it's going to be a great matchup. Again, the two teams had a great uh, matchup, obviously, in the Summit League tournament with USD knocking off South Dakota State last year. Big upset, and now they rematch here again. It's a great rivalry, and the team's picked at the top of the Summit League in the preseason, so everyone's really been looking forward to this. Yeah, the interesting thing is Amy Williams has that win over South Dakota State in the Summit mm -hmm. League tournament. She has not beat them in the regular yeah. season. So uh, she's looking to change that. South Dakota State, of course, would love to not see that change <laughs> here. Saturday afternoon, again, the tip time, 2 o'clock here at the Dakota Dome. For Brad Newitt, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.